Welcome to another video by DJS BRC, and we're back with Project Cherokee. Before we continue, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out their website, it's awesome. We're, we almost have our physical roller here. <clears throat> we just need to put the bumpers and uh, a couple other parts. Here, depending on uh, what body you're going to run, uh, will, you'll be able to decide where you put your bumper. <clears throat> but for just for the moment, I'm going to put the smallest one as possible. You grab your screws. If you look at your manual, it will tell you exactly which one. But they're the ones with small tread and pin shape. Now to this point here, I am jumping ahead in the book a bit. Simple reason, I'm excited. The vehicle's almost fully built. And we'll get to the point to be able to put the electronics in it. And then we'll have a functional 100% rig running. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now we have our bumpers on. Starts to look like a rolling frame. Now we're going to go with our receiver box. Give you a side gasket here. Uh, basically to be able to run your wires through it and keep this waterproof. Basically you find a mill hole. Push it down. And you give you another gasket that's the shape of your top of your receiver box. It has a channel that sits in. Make sure it's seated and you just put it on top. And they give you four countersunk counter screws. There we go. And they're extremely long. I don't know why, but personally, I would change those out for uh, maybe a 12 mil, <clears throat> a 10 mil, should I say? You don't need 10 feet long screws for that, but it is what it is. Now our receiver box is done. That would be this guy here. You would need to install your receiver, but again, I'm just doing a rolling chassis for the moment. Our front bumper is done. We did not put the, the pods for the lights. Here's this bumper will accept lights and even the rear ones. And did not put the hitch. Now, if we jump ahead in the book, basically that would be your bag H, step 44 is your body mounts. That I do have in our, <clears throat> our bag right here. That we prepared in advance, H44. I'm gonna put the screws right here. And we have the rock sliders at the same time. I'm going to put the body mounts aside, flip this guy over, and that's where I'm going to install our physical rock sliders. Now, I'm not sure if I'm putting them, putting them correct at 100%. No, I'm not. This is the rear. That's the front. They go like this. See, I'm not the one, I'm the one not paying attention here. And need to find where it 
they go in the reason I'm doing this right now it's just a little bit easier I don't have the vehicle super high up just makes it easier on me there we go <clears throat> Do the other side. Tighten this guy up. And we have the front to do. There we go. Flip it. Now we're going to do our body mounts. Now the, the bigger tower will be in your back. And the smaller ones will be in your front. Now the height you decide will judge the height of your body. Now I'm just going to put them temporarily. Because I will be running the stock body for the moment. On the vehicle but I will be changing it up on the vehicle I'll be running the body I'll be running I'm just not not sure yet which one screw these guys in <coughs> There we go. One of our last step to do is to install our X's. You will need your 1.5. Because there is a set screw that goes for each X. There we go. This prevents your X from falling off. <clears throat> Some will put Loctite on them. I don't, because simple reason, once your physical wheels on it, they shouldn't fall off. You will should prevent from this X to fall off. But you still physically can lose them. So they're pin at the same time. For some reason, she doesn't want to go in. There we go. And tighten this, the X in. Now your X is in. Now I'm going to do all the rest of the floors. And I'm not going to bore you installing all of them. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up in the corner. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad that you answer you guys. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification in the corner here. And it will notify you next time I upload a video. And thank you for watching.